Hi, my name is Susan Taylor Murray, and welcome to my studio at the Nest Arts Factory. Today we're doing a virtual demonstration, and I'm going to be introducing you to alcohol inks and stenciling. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start with the canvas. I have uh, painted it with two coats of an off-white paint uh, and let that dry. And then I have created three different colors, a blue, a pink, and an orange um, alcohol dye. I, I use Jacquard dyes. You can use RIT. I mean, really, it doesn't really matter. Um, they come in packets. The Jacquard comes in a pocket and it's dry. Um, you need granules, and I mean like just a few granules of dye. This little packet probably last my whole lifetime. Um, that's, and it, it comes in millions of colors. Um, but with it, what you do is you just add a few granules into the cup with a little tiny bit of water, and that will dissolve the um, dye. And then you add alcohol, and you fill the cup up. And that's pretty much it. It's really, really easy to do. It's something you can do with your kids. It's a fun project. It makes a great background. It's very watercolory, and and because of the alcohol, it dries and creates all sorts of cool patterns and designs. So I like to use pipettes. This is what I, I have anyway. Um, <clears throat> and, but you can use anything. I mean, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want. And this is just what I'm gonna show you. So I will take a color and then I'll just drip it around on the canvas. It's really fun. <laughs> it's just a very playful process. It's a very colorful process. Sometimes the dye, you know, you'll get little bits of pigment, but that's okay because it's kind of abstract and cool. Yeah. And then you add different colors. Yeah. Splitter it around. And you can always add more. And I'm a big person to do layers. So, you know, I might do this layer and then, you know, if I, if I want to keep going and do it again, I can. But for this particular demonstration, we're going to do a stencil on top of it. And the more uh, dye that you use, the darker it goes. So you can, you know, that's why you have to be really careful with adding the dye. Um, when I say sprinkle, <laughs> start with a sprinkle. You can always add more, you know. And then the fun part comes. And that's where you can really play with it. Um, something as simple as a straw, and you can blow it. And that kind of mixes it a little bit. And then I have this cool brush that I use. Um, I got this, believe it or not, I got Home Depot. Um, it's a full finishing brush. It was uh, used for street. But it's kind of cool because it has this big wide brush. So I will then start messing with it. just kind of fun because you can do anything you know sort of enjoy the process of it and that's it so this will be the base for my stencil when I'm done and I'll let it dry and it'll dry really funky because I'm gonna use a hair dryer on it now hair dryer is really loud so I, I will not do that for you, but um, I'll use a hair dryer and let it dry, and then um, uh, and then we'll see how it comes out, and we'll put on a stencil. Okay, we're back. So I've dried the canvas with the hair dryer, and I like how it came out. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to apply a stencil to it just for fun, just to show you stenciling because it's kind of fun. So I pre. Um, 
sprayed with a spray adhesive the back of the stencil. The reason you do that is because you want to make sure that it, it adheres all the edges and you get a clean draw, you know, clean edge. So if it's still really sticky, you can use a soft cloth like this and just like tap it down um, so that, you know, it doesn't leave any residue on your canvas because you don't want that either. So I'm going to put it into position and then I'm going to tape off the areas I don't want to stencil. You can see there's like these funky things around the sides. And this is just a fun stencil that I like. So I thought it would be fun to use, especially with the swirls. That kind of reminds me of waves. I'm just going to press it down. This stencil, for some reason, has a little here. <laughs> I might just skip that part, but let's see if we can get it down. Um, and then I take a bit of tape, um, blue tape, basking tape, doesn't really matter. It's not going to hurt the stencil, just to block off the areas that I don't want paint to come uh, to, to be on. And also on the edges. When you stencil, um, <clears throat> the, dry, the brush has to be really dry. Like you almost think there's no paint on the brush. That's how much paint there's not to be on the brush. Very little. Um, I'm going to be using two iridescent colors. I'm going to use a teal and a green. Because I think that would be a nice compliment. I use a lot of, most all of my work has iridescence of some kind or shimmer or reflection. It's very important in my work. Everything has to do with light and everything has to catch the eye um, and make you look at it twice, you know? I think that that's really, for me, it's really important. Um, I love to be able to look at something and then look at it again and go, wow, I didn't see that. <laughs> I have paper towels, the two iridescent colors. So I'm going to dip the brush into the paint and then I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Sounds silly, but that's basically you're just trying to get the, the paint like right into the bristles, but you don't want it to really be there because otherwise it's going to bleed and then it goes really, it's not fun. So you want to, I will dip it very lightly. I mean, you can see the paint there. And then I'm going to literally count 20. <laughs> So now it doesn't look like there's any paint on the brush, but believe it or not, there's quite a bit of it. So we're just going to lightly, very lightly, just kind of pounce it. You know, and you can play with it as it goes. And sometimes I'll add in a second color. Sometimes I just like to just sort of be very random with it, you know, because I want to have the two colors, but I want the whole thing to sort of flow and mix. And then I'll go back in with the other color. So everything has a little bit of the color. Just want to make sure you get everywhere, you know, you get all your edges, corners. All right, so we're done. I'm going to take off the stencil now. We'll see how it comes out. Oh, that's cool. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had a great time and learned something new. If you'd like to schedule a visit or if you have any questions about my work, I'm going to be online for the next half an hour um, to answer your questions live. Or you can also contact me on my website, www.susantaylormurray.com. I hope you have a great rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the trail.